The only difference is obviously uh, progress does not uh, require uh, life support systems, so it uh, can carry a full um, cargo. This uh, progress is uh, bringing uh, about uh, 5,800 pounds worth of uh, cargo to the station. That uh, includes 764 pounds of propellant, another 110 pounds of oxygen and air, 926 pounds of water, and uh, 3,000 pounds of spare parts, uh, experiment hardware, and uh, various logistics equipment. Uh, range rate is zero point minus 0 0.07, copy. The total weight of the uh, Progress spacecraft, w including the hardware upon arrival, is about uh, a little more than 13,000 pounds. Station's mass currently uh, 890,400 pounds, and after uh, the 50 Progress arrival, station's mass will be uh, recorded as 903,576 pounds. Uh, this station is moving to the left. Copy. Uh, ra range is the same, and range rate is minus 0 0.1, and we're continuing with the maneuver uh, along the roll axis. You can see the uh, small thruster firings as the progress continues its uh, fly around to uh, align, uh, align with the uh, docking port on the Russian segment of the station. Approach a little bit earlier, you will see initial, then after ZAFCOM, and then it will be display 44, and after that, we will be go for final approach. Okay, copy all. So I'll be standing by for, for your go. Right, and we'll prompt you again. We just wanted to prompt you that that's what's to be expected, and we'll give you the commands in real time as well. Copy. And a beautiful view uh, high above the uh, southeastern uh, Pacific Ocean, tracking northeasterly toward the coastline of uh, Colombia. I report that they are in uh, station keeping at 650 feet. They're now uh, aligned with the docking port. Activate display 44. The top in this view is the uh, Zvezda service module. At the bottom part is the Zarya control module. Okay, and then. And uh, a little bit early, they've been given a go for the final approach. Approach, approach. We've got and we're working per page 23. Copy, and we're monitoring and working per page 23. Then we will be activating work once again. Uh, first, BPS to initial and then work. That is correct. One fifty minus zero point eight. The docking assembly is in the middle. Copy. 
Угловой размер Angular. скорость узла соответствует дальности 140 метров. Uh, velocity corresponds to the range. We have 140. Copy. That's about 450 feet from the uh, International Space Station. So the target moved uh, to the left by one degree, range is 120, velocity is 0 0.66, copy. Uh, target is to the left one degree, 110 minus 0 0.66, copy. 360 feet. Target is to the left 0 0.5. Degrees, uh, 90 meters and minus 0 0.5. Copy. Target is to the left and down, 0 0.5 degrees. Copy. Range is 80. Range rate is minus 0 0.35. Copy. This view from 260 feet to the docking port, almost directly in the crosshairs. Assembly corresponds to the range. Copy. Target is in the middle and stable. Minus 0 0.28 meters per second. Copy. The range is 70 and uh, 70 and the range rate is minus 0 0.28. Copy. Range 60, half a degree at the target, 0.23 rate. Copy. 180 feet. The target on the left, half degrees, negative 0.18 is rate. Copy. Crosshairs collected. The target is stable. Copy. Inside 150 feet now. Readiness of SSVP, reporting, copy. Range 40, on the left target, negative 0.18 rate.
Target in the left, half a degree. Cross has collected. Copy. Getting close to 30 meters range. Copy. Inside 100 feet now. Issue command BPS initial. Correct. Command issued. Work. Команда прошла. Включаем отвод. Command X. Plus, plus X. Activation copy. Command, Command issued. Готово закрыть. Ready to close the antenna. You wait for the instructions. Observing. Понял. Ожидаем. Waiting for the go. У нас есть информация о закрытии антенны. Uh, we have information to retract antenna. Copy. The initial contact and capture will be through that uh, docking probe on the uh, near end of the Progress spacecraft. Now about 80 feet from arrival. Range, um, sorry, rate, negative point 13. Target is uh, in the middle. Uh, Negative point 15. Now perfectly aligned with the docking target just underneath the uh, hatchway of the uh, pier's docking compartment. At 15 minutes, at 15 meters, we should uh, turn the page to page 15. We have a small roll. Copy. Now uh, about 50 feet. Uh, left roll. Light left roll. Copy. French 15. Copy. Go to page 24. Monitor the crosshairs. Copy. Crosshairs together. The target is on top. 0.5 degrees. Copy. Two hundred fifty miles above Bogota, Colombia, tracking northeasterly. Small left roll. Target in the middle. Cross has collected. Cross has collected. Target in the middle. Copy. Range seven. Seven. Now 20 feet from docking. Target in the center. Negative point 18. Range 6. Copy. Range 4. Target in the center, cross has collected. Good. Range 3. In the center, collected. Point 18. Point 13. In the center, cross has collected. 
Ожидаем касания. Waiting for contact. Copy. Inside 10 feet, standing by for contact and capture. We have capture. Copy, capture. And the space station's in free drift. We have uh, confirmation of uh, capture. And we'll stand by for the official docking time. Uh, looks like it's about uh, 2.35, a little, after, little more than that, maybe 2.36. We'll stand by for the official word from visiting vehicle officer. and then we'll complete everything on page 27. Please review page 27 in the meanwhile. Copy. And uh, we'll be standing by here and waiting on Toro up. Clear your command and congratulations on automatic docking. Thank you. And this is Mission Control Houston. The 50 Progress vehicles arrived at the International Space Station. Uh, official automated, automated uh, docking time is uh, 2.35 p.m. Central Time. Uh, for those keeping track of seconds, the report was 19 seconds. So 2.35 and 19 seconds for the arrival. That is five hours and 55 minutes from launch to docking. The uh, arrival docking came uh, just as the space station and the progress vehicle tracked uh, to the southwest of Puerto Rico. The space station uh, remains in free drift during the uh, process post-docking of um, retracting the uh, progress probe, that initial contact probe, and then closing the hooks and latches in order to uh, seal the uh, newly arrived cargo vehicle to the uh, International Space Station's uh, uh, DC-1 or the pier's docking compartment. Once the uh, progress hooks are seen through the telemetry as being closed, then the signal will uh, command the hooks to close on the other side of the interface on the pier's docking compartment interface. And that should only take a couple of minutes to complete. And we do have confirmation the probe is now retracting.
Суп Москвы в канале СГ-1 для Романа. Мишин Контрол. Присту Гаван Суруман. Значит, по расписанию в 20 Наса НПК. Just a second, Roman. Roman, we will perform step 15. You can perform step 11. Let's move on. Roman, we will perform step 11. Roman, how copy? Step 11, radiogram 1515. In work. Итак, по одиннадцатому шагу доклад видеофайл. Общий объем. General volume. Каждый примерно по 80. Uh, about 380 мегабайт. Четыре файла объемом. Четыре файла. Триста восемьдесят три. Что с ними делаем? Оставляем. What are we doing with those files? Shall I, shall I keep them where they are? Stand by. And at 2.45 p.m. we do have confirmation that the uh, hooks on the progress side of the interface have been uh, closed. Shall we completing all of the uh, rendezvous and docking tasks for the progress vehicle, the 50 uh, progress uh, launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome just a uh, little more than six hours ago at uh, 8.41 this morning Central Time. Five hours, 55 minutes later, the 50 progress docked to the Piers docking port on the Russian segment of the International Space Station at 2.35 p.m. Central. Ten minutes later, the hooks and latches have been closed, uh, securing the progress to the uh, space station as it uh, begins to track into an orbital uh, sunset. 
before the activation. Igor, so I was still waiting, waiting for seven minutes, right? Yes. So the uh, rest of the crew's day uh, will be to gather for their uh, afternoon uh, teleconference with uh, flight controllers on the ground supporting International Space Station uh, operations. Uh, the crew will be going to bed um, a little less than two hours from now. Their scheduled sleep time begins at uh, 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so they will not be uh, opening the hatches to their uh, newly arrived cargo vehicle, but it is in the timeline uh, for the crew members um, on uh, Tuesday. The plan is to conduct all of the uh, leak checks, uh, complete all of that activity uh, before 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, uh, U.S. Central Time. And the plan is for the hatch to be opened uh, somewhere in the 6 o'clock hour on Tuesday. Uh, so we'll have all of the uh, results from that activity for you uh, during the um, ISS update hour, which will uh, begin at the usual time on Tuesday of 10 a.m. Uh, Central Time, 11 Eastern Time. Uh, so we'll be back to uh, uh, provide an hour of coverage of Expedition 34's uh, voyage aboard the International Space Station at that time. Also, as a bonus within that uh, hour, um, two of the crew members are going to take uh, time out to talk about their mission aboard the station. Commander Kevin Ford and Flight Engineer Dr. Tom Marshburn um, will be uh, talking about the mission with WBOI Radio out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and News 14, Carolina. That uh, begins at 10.15 Central Time on Tuesday, so be sure to tune in uh, for that as well during that uh, ISS update hour. So again, the uh, 50 Progress vehicle has arrived at the International Space Station. The hatches will be opened in the early hours on Tuesday uh, so that the crew can access all of the uh, hardware and supplies uh, logistics that were delivered in that smooth uh, five-hour, 55-minute launch to docking uh, of the 50 Progress spacecraft. We'll be back again tomorrow with another hour of coverage at 10 a.m. Central, 11 Eastern. This is Mission Control Houston.